Hello, my name is Frederick Puyo with the Clean Energy Institute. This is the first video of a series of videos that will show you how to use Rescue in version 4. We'll start by installing the Rescue software. First, we'll go to the Rescue website, rescuing.net, select the language and click on the link to download the Red Screen Suite. The very first time you do that you will have to um, click on the form to register and enter all the information. We'll assume that this has been done and when this is done you can go and click and download the software. Once a red screen has been downloaded, then we can install it. So let's double click on the application, the exe file, and we'll install that using the default settings. Next, we'll select the language. And just follow the screen instructions to install. Okay, we'll assume that you've read the policies, license agreement. And we'll install it to the default folder on this computer. It's uh, program files x86 red screen. There we go. Successful installation. So it's telling us here that we can launch that from the program files menu. And how to uninstall it. Now that red screen has been installed, we're going to close the web browser and start red screen 4. From the start menu, we're going to select all programs and from there we're going to scroll until we can see red screen international. What I have done here is I had uh, red screen version 3 installed. So I create a folder and I put all the old um, shortcuts for Red Screen 3 in that folder. So what's new here in Red Screen 4 is um, the uh, Red Screen 4 um, shortcut as well as Red Screen Plus. In this course, we're going to deal specifically with Red Screen 4. Red Screen Plus deals with energy management um, and we want to deal with renewable energy for this course. So I'm going to uh, actually, uh, uh, I'm going to start, uh, create a, sh a shortcut to Rescue 4 by dragging it onto the start menu. And this way, when I click on the start menu, then I should be able to see an icon for Rescue 4, which allows me to start that conveniently. Now that red screen has been installed, we're going to close the web browser and start red screen 4 by going into the start menu. And uh, you'll notice that um, it's asking us here to um, activate some content. Okay, so this is very important because if you don't do that, uh, the macros of Red Screen will not function and you'll get that text here and when you try to use uh, different functionality they will not work properly so let's make sure that here we allow that okay we allow this content and um, you could also just specify that you trust um, the author here um, by opening the trust center and um, 
set up Natural Resources Canada as a trusted uh, publisher. Okay, so I'm going to uh, allow this content here. All right. So, uh, just a few things are different in uh, version four compared to previous versions, especially uh, version three and, and, and even actually the other uh, versions uh, had uh, a number of tabs on the bottom. So this has changed and um, this is related to the fact that uh, by default we have a simplified analysis method which is called method one. So if you change that to method two, then you'll see uh, those tabs are similar to uh, Redscreen version 3. Another thing which is very different is that um, instead of having different models um, in separate work, separate files, now it's all regrouped in one file and you can actually change that. So let's say if you wanted a photovoltaic project then uh, you'd select either power or power multiple technologies, we'll just select power here and then from there you select um, photovoltaic. Okay. Um, something else which is different is that uh, within uh, the various tabs now you may have uh, different methods. So here we have two methods for the energy model, method one and me method two. In the next video, we're going to see how to work with Redscreen 4 files, templates, case studies, and user-defined items.